Hello makers, welcome to Always Yarn First, a podcast about knitting, crochet, and all the yarny goodness in between. I'm Lindsay, and I'm coming to you from Little Rock, Arkansas, and you can find me on Instagram and Ravelry as Always Yarn First. Welcome to episode 15. Um, as always, I'd like to start with my make-along. Sorry, I'm having a little brain fog here. Um, I make alongs before we get into the podcast. I have two going on. Uh, the first is hashtag the Chevron year itch. It is a make along. I'm co-hosting with my friend Lori from Arkansas Yarn Co. And you just need to crochet or knit a Chevron blanket, any size you want. You can enter that for prizes on Instagram with the hashtag or on Arkansas Yarn Co.'s group Ravelry page, which I will link below. The second one is the Slash My Stash 2022 Mal. Again, this is knitting or crochet. The only requirement is um, it has to be stash that you had before this calendar year, everything that you use in the project. Again, um, you can use that hashtag on Instagram or you can also input it on my um, Always Yarn First group Ravelry page. There is a thread for that. In fact, our winner that I pulled last month for that uh, was Leanne, and it was our first Ravelry winner. So congratulations, Leanne. I have already contacted her, and the prize went out in the mail this week, so she should be getting it soon. Um, so for that, every month I give away a skein of yarn from my stash. It's no longer calling to me. So for the month of July, this will be the prize yarn. This is a self-striping yarn from Gale's Art. And this is Wonder Sock Base, a superwash BFL wool, 75% and nylon, 25%. It is 465 yards. And the colorway is called Crayon Box. So our July prize will be that skein. So how has everyone been? I hope you've all been well and been crafting a lot. Um, oh, before we get into it too, I wanted to mention on episode 12, I had a big giveaway for the Pima cotton sweater to quantity. Um, and I never did hear from that winner. So I pulled a new prize winner. That new winner is Sarah Cox. Sarah, if you see this, please contact me as soon as possible. Um, on my email address, which is below, uh, linked below, it's alwaysyarnfirst at gmail.com. And so I can get that out to you. Congratulations. All right. So if you're new here, um, I am a huge music lover, about as much as I love yarn. So I always name every episode after a song that I love. Uh, so this week I have named the episode Happy by Pharrell Williams. So I have linked below to the song if you feel like listening to it. Um, and the reason I'm happy is because what I'm wearing is also my first finished object, which if you follow me on Instagram, you've seen this. I have finished my boxy chevrons sweater. So I am so happy that I got it done. There was a point where I did question if I was going to get it done in time for the yarn crawl. Um, once again, uh, July 15th to 23rd is the Arkansas Yarn Crawl and um, Arkansas Yarn Co., my local yarn shop, um, did a knit along where we were all knitting the same sweaters, whatever colors you wanted. And then on the Saturdays of the yarn crawl, we will all put them on for a brief minute because it's hot y'all. And this is a three quarter sleeve sweater. Um, but we'll put them on and take a group photo for everyone that knit along with the sweater this year. So I did get mine done, thankfully. So this is Boxy Chevrons by Suzanne Summer. Um, I used Knit Picks um, Muse. This is the Savvy, the blue is. And the main color is Delight Speckle. And I had had some Delight Speckle in my stash, so that's kind of where I started with picking my sweater colors is I'm trying to use up single skeins in my stash. So I did have to order more yarn, but I used up the yarn I did have. So, and I'm really happy with it, but 
I really love the fit. Um, I pretty much went to pattern. I did a size two because this is a lot. I love boxy sweaters, but I also don't like them so overly big and I feel like this one's perfect. Um, I like the tighter fit sleeve on the arms, but then wider on the body where it's cool. Um, but now that I've showed you this, I am gonna take this off because right now it says it's 98 degrees out. Um, yeah, I think yesterday was the hottest day of the year here um, in Arkansas. So it was insane. It even felt like 98 degrees, like 11 o'clock at night, something like that. So um, I did, I think last time on the body, I was about like right here. I did pretty quickly on the body because I was really determined and motivated. And I don't know if you can see, it's kind of hard when you go to the um, project page to see this, but in the pattern, the bottom detail, instead of regular ribbing, it has this really cool chevron ribbing pattern. It's hard to photograph, um, but I decided to go with it. Uh, Jessa had finished hers quite a while ago and I saw hers and I thought it really looked neat. So I decided to go for it and I'm really happy I did. I really like it. I know Maddie and Kristen, I think just did regular ribbing at the bottom and theirs of course is cute too. So it'll be interesting to see everybody's um, next weekend. So that is not my only finished object. You know, this is the um, episode where I'll talk about what goals I had for last month. And I realized that in the month of June, I had zero finished objects. Well, after I finished that sweater, I had been working on it, you know, pretty monogamously for a while. So I realized I'm like, okay, what else are small projects I can get done? So I have three more finished objects. They're all small, but they're all finished objects. So first thing I did was a goal that I had to finish last month, never picked up, which is my second journey sock. So here's my first one, show you I have a pair. Um, so this sock is um, an interesting pattern. It start, it's a no-show sock and you start right here and go down. So literally where I was at, I had finished the heel flap and that was about it. I was right here. I did this whole sock, the rest of the sock in one day. I don't think it was, it wasn't yesterday. It was the day before yesterday that I finished the whole thing. So it goes by really fast, but I personally don't love this construction. I don't think I'm going to make it again. Um, just cause one, I don't ever wear no show socks. So I wear shorty socks. Usually my go-to if I'm making a sock is I do 25 rows before the heel, whether that's 10 rows of ribbing and then 15 rows of knitting or 15 rows of ribbing, 10 rows of knitting, and then I get into my heel, which is usually a short row heel is my preference. And then I knit my sock. So this is not really a requirement to have a no-show sock. I didn't enjoy the process of it. Um, but I did it, I finished them, so there's that. Um, and this, this yarn is, um, I have previously knit a pair of socks, so I'd already used this yarn once for socks. This is La Bienami BFL Tough Sock and the colorway Amy's Sweater. So that is finished object number two. Okay, number three, I finished more dishcloths. Again, this one has just kind of been hanging out in a bag, just sitting and sitting. And like I said, once I realized I had no finished objects last month and I saw like all these bags on my cart, um, I'm like, I'm just going to finish off as many small projects as I can at one time. So this pattern is a free pattern. Um, it's called the Classic Easy Knit Dishcloths by Karen Stanton. I did not find it on Ravelry though. It is on Lovecrafts, uh, so lovecrafts.com. Um, I use, I love this cotton. This variegated one is called Harvest and I could not find the ball band for this red. It's just like a classic 
red. Um, so, yeah. And number four finished object is, I'm going to kind of put it on my hand so you can see the pattern. I cast this on and finished it uh, since the last podcast. This is the Fairies Firelight by Jen Sheelan. Um, what this is, is Jessa from Arkansas Yarn Co. is getting married in October. Um, if you've watched Arkansas Yarn Cast podcast or We Share Needles podcast, you've heard them talk about it. She is going to have jars with candles at the tables. And she had asked her knitty friends to help her uh, make these jar covers. So they'll be over the jars with candles in them and they're going to be so beautiful. So um, we're each making two, a small size and a large size. And this is the small one I finished. So I still have to do a large one. And the yarn that we're using is yarn that she gave us. It is Arkansas Yarn Co. Uh, Sage Advice colorway. And if you watch the Arkansas Yarn cast, she's also making her wedding shawl out of this that is gorgeous. So this is so cute. I mean, really, you could make this. You could make some cute, like, fingerless mitts kind of situation with this. It's so pretty. So that is my finished objects. I'm so excited to finally have some again. Um, yeah, so... Besides this last one, I didn't have any other cast-ons. Um, all right, so let's get into whips. All right. So you may have noticed yesterday, Hohe Locatility came out with her new pattern, which is called the Lace and Fade. Uh, Pull over. It is a boxy lace and fade boxy. I think she named it. Um, so that was the one I was test knitting and and failed. Um, but I had talked to Hohe about it, and she is a very um, understanding person. But I am still very much working on it. It probably will get more time now um, on it since I finished my uh, chevron sweater. But let's see. You can see. My marker is over here where I was at. So I have finished that lace pattern and I'm almost ready to start the lace again. Um, I'm really loving this. I can't wait till I can get a couple more sections in so you can really see it come together. But I'm loving this yarn from Junk Yarn. So my fingering yarn is from Junk Yarn. It's her sock base, and it's in the Astronaut Barbie colorway. And then my mohair is from Cake Wool Company, and their cream base, and it's in the colorway Smooch. It looks like it's all cream, but I don't know if you can tell. It does have a slight pink to it, just slightly. So, yeah. So again, this pattern is out now. Um, it's super cute. And again, I love boxy sweaters. I think this one will have that boxy feel, but yet also real feminine because of the lace panels in there. So this one is going to be really good. I'm excited to work on this. Again, long sleeve, so I'm not super, now that it's out, I'm not like, and super in a rush to do it because it's not like a sweater garment. It's going to be wait till fall to wear it, um, but it's lovely. So definitely go check this one out. And it is housed in my Tanny Casey bag. So let's get my other big one out. You know this one? This is in my Knickknack Knits Giant Chevron Bag, housing my Chevron Blanket. So if you watched um, the unboxing for July, I haven't gotten very much further um, than what I showed on my blanket there. But here it is. 
So that's the bottom. First four months. And then this was the uh, June colorway. And so the July colorway, I haven't even gotten there yet. Here it is. This is caked up double because I hold fingering double. Kind of like a peachy coral white. And um, so that will go on hopefully before I film next month's unboxing. I'm try Again, one of these projects that I'm trying to catch up on now that I've finished my sweater in time. Um, but again, if you, uh, this is the one we're doing for the Arkansas, uh, my make along with Arkansas Yarn Co. And this is my Chevron blanket. I am using Lori's Sock Yarn Society monthly club for one year. So there'll be 12 colors in this along with the, my border between each is colors that you can get. I know Lori has in stock right now is graphite and the white is wedding cake. If you can see that the white around the graphite, those are both in stock um, at Arkansas Yarn Co. Um, the other ones you can't get unless you already had the Arkansas um, Yarn Co. Sock Yarn Society box. Um, so right now the subscription box is closed, but you can go to SockYarnSociety.com to sign up on the wait list if you want to get on the list um, in case somebody drops out. So this is my giant year long project that I'm doing with Lori. And again, I'm holding the fingering double. So it's like a DK consistency. It's super squishy and wonderful. And it's super fun. And I will put, um, the pattern I'm using is a free pattern. So I will link that below if you are interested in joining us. And again, you can make a baby sweat, uh, baby sized blanket if you'd like to um, enter for prizes. It doesn't have to be a full size year long blanket like me. Okay, I only have two more whips, you guys. And neither one has gotten, again, like this is the theme. It was all about my sweater, so haven't gotten a lot of love to everything else. So this is my, what I'm calling my Advent Grammy, Granny. This is gonna be a lap blanket. I started with my pineapple yarn Advent. You can kind of see that it fades into each other. And then once that ran out, I now get the pineapple yarn mystery mini skein club. So I get three mini skeins per month and I just add those in. So it's the same base as the advent I was getting. Um, you can see the marker of where I was at. So I have made a little bit of progress. Um, I'm trying to keep up with it in the sense that I'm trying to do all three 20 gram minis before I get next month's box because once I feel like it's big enough, then I'm gonna stop getting that club. I am not a big collector of minis if I don't have to be because I don't always know what to do with them. So this is a very, for a very specific purpose. Um, but I did finish the first of the three. So this bright yellow was color one. You can see I'm into color two now. She doesn't name them in the box. They're just uh, June 2022 minis. So this is like a nice neutral with little pops. And then the third one is the bright pink. So that will be the last one. And I basically just crochet until I run out. I have enough to weave in my end. And the pattern I'm using for this is Scrappy Granny by um, Nitty Natty. And it is a free pattern on Ravelry. So I will link that below. Um, so this is just another mine, mindless blanket. It's actually getting pretty good size. So. Um, but my, I'm not going to finish these. These were June and my July minis have already shipped. So unless I get on it the next two days, I'm going to be a little behind, but I think only a couple more months, maybe, because I'm pretty much, I think doing about one full round and a half right now because with the 20 gram minis because of the size it's getting to be. So 
yeah but that is really fun it's my current crochet project which is nice and it is housed in another knickknack knits bag this is one uh nikki made for me because it has care bears on it grumpy bear all right and my last whip that I've currently been working on. Again, you've seen a bunch of times. Again, it's probably not exciting because I have not made that much progress. Is my church shawl. Here it is. So there's the duck where I uh, ended last podcast. So I've made a little bit of progress. This is just a big, long uh, crescent sweater, and this is a pattern from Arkansas Yarn Co. I'm using Universal Bamboo um, bamboo Pop yarn, and this is the colorway High Tide. So I'm basically just going till I run out, and that will be the end of the shawl. So very, another mind, mindless pattern, my purse project that I just take with everywhere. So, in fact, let me move this marker now. This is one I always seem to forget to do that too. All right. So, go through this one fast because not much to show on that one. And this is in my By the Bay bag co. This is an older bag style of theirs that I got at DFW Fiber Fest um, in 2019. So yeah, that is all of my whips. I might expand out to some of my older ones that I haven't touched in a while, um, but I promised my husband that he would have a sweater at the end of this calendar year. So um, I mentioned it before, uh, that I am going to be making him a sweater. I even, I actually have it all bagged up, I think. So right here. Yep. I am making him the single malt sweater by Maxim Sear. So even though there's many more summer garments I want to work on, I promised that the next sweater cast on would be his sweater. Um, doesn't mean I'm gonna hurry and finish it, but I figure what I'm going to do is I'm gonna cast on his sweater next and use it as my 30 minutes a day knitting. Uh, so what that means for me is like every morning, the first thing I knit on will be this and I'll set a timer for 30 minutes. And at the end of 30 minutes, then I knit what I want, but at least doesn't seem like a lot, but it's July. So that means I know 30 minutes a day, I'm definitely gonna be making progress on this. And I can do, I can work on it more than 30 minutes a day, but that way I know there is getting progress made on it. Because let's face it, when you're knitting on something that you love or want for yourself, you tend to knit on it longer. Whereas this, it's not for me, so I have to force myself to work on it. So that's my plan. All right, so that is it for the knitting. So if that's all you tuned in for, thank you for joining me. Um, next, we're gonna talk about acquisitions, um, goal chat, what my goals were for June, did I make them, what my goals are for July, and then uh, the podcast of the week. So acquisitions, technically I have bought nothing. Um, I have one acquisition to show and it was a gift from a friend. Um, I was at Arkansas Yarn Co. a couple Saturdays ago with Maddie and her mom. And while we were there, um, Lori got in. Actually, it was when I was, it wasn't with Maddie and her mom. It was when I was there doing the unboxing video. And while I was there, they got mail in from the sexy knitter and she had gotten stitch markers for Anna and Jessa and herself. And I saw hers and I'm like, oh, I love those so much. So as I was sitting there, she went back online, ordered another one. 
and gave me hers. <laughs> um, and she ordered more to have in store during the yarn crawl. So first of all, look at this amazing little pouch for it. How cute is that? And then in these, if you grew up playing with Barbies, you knew that you would have Barbie shoes all over your house. Like when you're trying to dress up your Barbie, you couldn't find the high heel shoes because there'd only be one. And then later you'd find it randomly with something else. So I got a little white pair. These are all individual stitch markers. And then there's the classy black shoes. And then of course, I'm sure Lori's favorite is the pink ones. So six stitch markers. But I think the stitch markers are amazing. But to me, like going the extra mile and doing these little matching pouches is the coolest thing. Um, I can't remember which one she got Anna. But she got Jessa like a McDonald's ones. Like it, she had like fast food stuff on the outside of the pouch. And then she showed us like the little French fries with the M on the packaging. And it was so cute. So again, this is from the Sexy Knitter. And that's all I have to show you. I, of course, got my um, Sock Yarn Society yarn, which I showed you. Uh, it's already caked up and ready to go. And I did win something from Instagram. And I wanted to talk about it, but I kind of want to wait till I get it. So I want a sock set and with a very special meaning behind it. But I will talk about it next podcast because I haven't received it yet. And I want to talk about it when the yarn gets here. So, um, yeah, short acquisition session today, but I'm pretty sure next one will make up for it because the Arkansas Yarn Crawl is starts next Friday and I am so excited. There have been things I've seen online that I want to buy so bad and I'm like, no, the Yarn Crawl is coming up. Don't do it. So, um, I've seen some of the things that Lori has, especially for the crawl, and I already have a list in my head. Um, so yeah, there's uh, seven stores in Arkansas that are participating this year and it's going to be really fun, but it's going to be really hot y'all. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited. So the next one probably will be acquisitions heavy. All right. So let's talk goals. It's the first podcast of the month. So I always talk about goals. Um, so my goals for June, what they were, I'm looking at my list here was to finish my journey sock. I did not do that in June, so I failed that goal. Um, to get to my June's color in the chevron throw before we filmed, I did do that, barely. Uh, to get seven inches length on my boxy chevron sweater, I did that. And to get my lace and fade on the needles, because that's when I started my test knit, I did that. Um, my yarn in and out goals, I keep track of full yarn skeins, either 50 grams or 100 grams, I both count those, um, in and out of my stash. Uh, so I had five yarn skeins come in my stash, which makes it a year total of 80. And three yarn skeins went out, and yarn out could either be I've gifted, they were giveaways, um, I used them up in projects, I only had three go out um, in the month of June. But it's still ahead of my yarn in. So that means I have 82 skeins that have gone out. So my goal for the year for my stashing is use more, get more yarn out than yarn in is my main goal. So, so far at midway point of the year, I'm barely keeping up with that goal. So my goals for July, I've already done one. Finish my journey sock. Like I said, it took me a day and I finished it. I just needed to focus on it. Um, my Finish my second fairy firelight. So this, I need to make the large one for Jessa. Um, she doesn't need it till October, but you know how that goes. is like you put it off and you put it off, just like my um, sweater for the crawl. And then you're like, 
oh man, I need to get going. So I want to finish the second one and get that done and to Jessa so she has them. Um, and then focus on my crochet and my chevron blankets. So both of those projects, I told you my crochet one, I'd like to have those used up before I get next month so I can know when I need to stop that subscription. Um, my chevron blanket, my goal always is when I film with Lori, the unboxing, I like to have last month's color at least somewhat on there so it can, people can see what it looks like knit up to give a true representation of the yarn. Um, I'd love to have be completely caught up with my border in between and ready to cast on the next month's color, but in the summer, I find that it's hard knitting on it that regularly where I'm completely caught up. So my goal is to just at least have some color on there to show. So um, I have another trip back to visit my grandma in a couple of weeks after the yarn crawl. And again, I feel that that's a good time to work on those kind of mindless blankets where I can give them some love. Uh, they're easy where I could be visiting and still work on. So that is for my goals. All right, all we have left is the podcast of the week. Every episode, I like to highlight a podcast that I love um, because I'm always up for learning about more podcasts. So um, everyone can go back and watch all the ones. I need to make a list of ones to make sure I don't cover them again. But this week is Young Folk Knits. This is with Casey, and she is another Arkansas podcaster. She is up in northern Arkansas, and she is so cute. Her aesthetic is just adorable. She lives on a farm with her family, and they um, have chickens and bees. And so a lot of other things she shows in her podcast, besides the general podcast, is, you know, farm life and all that kind of stuff. So... She is adorable, and you should check her out, and I will have the link to her podcast below. So that is it, kind of a short one this week. Um, again, I'm assuming that the next one will be a little more lengthier because of the yarn crawl um, to talk about that. I may make a separate video regarding that with some footage. Um, we'll see. And because I'm out of town literally right after I go um, on my on my yarn crawl, um, there it might be three weeks till a podcast, so we'll see. So if you don't see me, please wait. It'll be one extra week, but I might try to pop in an extra video. So I thank you so much for joining me. I hope you like and subscribe and share uh, this podcast, and I hope you're all having a good summer, and I hope to see a lot of you um, at the yarn crawl next weekend. Bye.